Hi, all, and welcome again. Uh, thank you for your time to join the webinar today. My name is Jesse from International Development Office of Beijing Normal University, Hong Kong Baptist University International College. As you can see, uh, UIC is the first higher education institution jointly, by, uh, jointly founded by a Mainland University and Hong Kong University, which is Beijing Normal U University plus Hong Kong Baptist University, which means uh, the students, uh, when they graduate from school, they will get a graduation certificate of UIC. Then um, they will re also receive the bachelor degree of HKBU. And here is our um, president, Professor Tang Tao. He's a member of Chinese Academy of Sciences. Um, you, as you can see, here is the blueprint of our campus. Uh, currently, we uh, mainly bake, uh, located at the phrase campus here, as you can see at the right side. And the second phrase um, is under processing. Actually, um, some part of the dormitory is open to the students uh, at the moment. So uh, you can see the very beautiful campus in the picture. Um, in the new campus, I mean the second phrase campus, you can see the dormitory here, um, two bathroom um, shared by four students together and share a common room and uh, 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 other space at one floor, as you can see in the picture. And there are maybe some student is confused the location of UIC because we are neither in Beijing nor um, in Hong Kong. We are in Zhuhai, the south part of China. We are in Zhuhai city in Guangdong province. It's quite near to Macau and Hong Kong and some big cities such as Guangzhou and Shenzhen. And also you can see the, um, the uh, distance between the city and some very beautiful sightseeing here. And there is a lot of opportunity for students uh, gaining the internship uh, opportunity in Macau or Hong Kong or other cities. When they graduate from school, they also will uh, get a further, further education in those cities as well. And um, there is very important to mention that the tuition of UIC is 100,000 per year. And for a musical arts program will be 120,000 per year. So um, the, also the dormitory fee will be 6,400 per year for two bathroom and 4,000 per year for three bathroom. So the student can uh, select uh, all those type of the dormitory, whatever they want. But um, students will also uh, stay together with our domestic student. Uh, we don't separate international student with our Chinese students. For the teachers, um, you can see um, almost uh, one third is from Hong Kong, Macau, Taiwan, and overseas faculty members. And most of the faculty members will come from mainland China. And also the student will consist of of mainland China student and also the Hong Kong from Macau, Taiwan, and some part of international students. After the border reopened, um, more and more international students applying to UIC, which means um, the number of international students will uh, increasing by year by year. And we also have five uh, faculty and school here. As you can see, faculty of business and management, faculty of science and technology, faculty of humanities and social sciences, school of culture and creativity, and the school of um, graduate uh, general education um, consists of four depart department as well, which is general education considered uh, center, whole person education center and English language center and Chinese language and culture center. Um, because all those program in UIC are taught in English. So we don't um, have any Chinese requirement for international students um, not asking any certification of HSK. So, um, but we do offer some Chinese language courses for international students in the first academic year. 
as you can see some um very popular um, program here of business and management faculty. Um, most of the students may choose marketing management, finance, accounting, some uh, business related courses here is quite famous. And also some program in science and technology faculty uh, students, uh, most of students would choose computer science and technology data science and a special uh, program such as food science and technology and AI or applied mathematics. And we move to humanity and social science faculty. As you can see, um, some students will apply for the applied translation, which require both uh, very good uh, skills in Chinese and English. And also some students want to learn more about Chinese culture. They would choose Chinese culture and global communication. And some uh, program in the School of Cultural and Creativity, such as CTV program is related, related to uh, cinema and television, culture, creativity, and management, and also the highest tuition fee and uh, musical performance as well. So um, here, as you can see, we also provide a very um, diversity opportunity for the students, not only for Chinese students, uh, but also for international students here, yeah, you, can, you can see we organize some summer program, exchange out program to the students, and most of the graduate, uh, they will choose to get further education overseas in UK, Australia, and some other countries to further the, their studies after graduated from UIC. And most of the students goes to a very good um, university in, in the world and also the top 100 QS rank in the universities. And there were some uh, high table dinner, as you can see, uh, we also provided to students to join and events and activity uh, to um, just uh, get international students and know more about Chinese culture and get involved in UIC with our Chinese students in their da daily life. Mm, some traditional uh, activities such as uh, calligraphy, um, food making like mooncake making, um, flower arranging, Taiji classes, handicrafting, painting classes as well. And we will bring them to the field trip as well. As you can see, some one-day tour in Zhuhai or Zhongshan or some uh, city near Zhuhai. And also ex exploring some food culture here. Dim Sum is quite famous in uh, Guangdong province and also Hong Kong, Macau. It's part of the Chinese culture here. Uh, let's enjoy a video and see what our international is saying. I think UIC is really cool because there's a lot of opportunities to integrate me and like myself and other exchange students along with Chinese students to get to know each other and um, explore our differences together, but find common ground to integrate together. It's, UIC is an educational center that gives students the chance to learn China and all of its cultural aspects, including traditional music, traditional dances, history, and geological location, travels, and historic things. The environment of UNC is really awesome that I really feel happy here. And our technology, all the classrooms, and the teachers are highly qualified. And I really appreciate to be here and leading my study. Mm -hmm. When I think of UIC, 
I just think about when I went back to the club fair and they had so many different organizations there to for us to get interesting and every club we spoke to was so passionate about what they did um, whether it was the outdoor club or the fashion model club everyone everyone was really really dedicated to their craft And uh, after watching the video and we moved the most important part on and also um, most of the international students care about the scholarship part. Um, we do offer some full scholarship uh, quota for international students, but it's quite limited because um, it's already in March now. Um, also the peak time of uh, application. So um, all those quotas are based first come first serve. So we encourage a student, if you do want to apply for some scholarship, you'd better to uh, uh, submit your application as soon as possible. But um, all those will be ev evaluated by your uh, documents you submitted and we need to evaluate your academic performance in high school and also the recommendation from your supervisor in high school then we can um, let you know the result after an interview session and let you know the result of uh, whether you can get the entrance scholarship or not um, and we also um, provided with the government scholarship for students as well, which is 10,000 per student. And here is uh, some admission requirements, but um, for some uh, specific regions, we need to go back to the criteria of uh, the region's uh, requirements. So um, there is some detail, you can go back to our website for further information after the webinar. When you submit uh, your application, you need to also provide with your graduation of high school, um, your transcripts, two recommendation letter, and your personal statement, uh, passport copy. If you uh, are not an English speaking country student, then you need to provide with your language certification. TOEFL will um, require the 79 internet base or IELTS 6. And our application deadline will be June 30, because after June 30, we will going to um, issue the JWO 202 form for students. Uh, we still need some time for the preparation before you departure from your home. So um, at last, we, we can enjoy some beautiful city of UIC. As you can see the campus scenery here, and there is a lake at the middle of the campus. Here you can see the teaching building. And here is the library, learning resources center. And here is inside the learning resource center. Um, and we also provide with some facility for the students um, sporting. And we got a sport park near our campus. And also street canteen on campus as well. You can choose whatever you want. Here are some pictures uh, inside the dormitory. Um, so as what I mentioned just now, um, there will be a common space for students uh, at each floor. And also the um, teaching building here, but uh, most of the program will be taught um, here. Uh, it's all related to the culture creativity program. And we provide some channels. If you do have some require in inquiry, you can uh, contact with us on WeChat. Uh, here is a WeChat code. You can follow us on WeChat because um quite popular uh, for people, uh, everybody just using WeChat in China. So yeah, and also Facebook and YouTube channel. And if you do want to submit your application, please uh, just send us your documents directly to this email address. Or if you do have any questions, you can contact with us here. 
uh, we will um, reply to you as soon as possible. Or if students want to book an one-to-one -one consultation, it's all also welcome. Um, we will try to book an appointment with you and get to know more about UIC. Yeah, here, um, that's, that's all from uh, today's webinar. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesse, for uh, sharing information about the UIC for today's uh, online open day. So I have some questions from students here from the Q&A box. The first one is, is there any electronic engineering programs in uh, UIC? I think you can, if you don't mind, uh, can you go back to the page where it shows like the list of programs offered at the UIC in case some students miss the information? Okay. Sorry, uh, which program you just mentioned? Electronic engineering. Um, actually, not one hundred percent match the program you just mentioned, but we do some uh provide with some relevant program um in engineering or AI or computer, um, something like that. Then maybe. Mm -hmm. And contact us. We can share the handbooks of the pro each program. Then students will know more about the program. Consists of what kind of uh, courses they are going to have, uh, the major courses or the elective courses uh, in the future. Then students can have a study plan uh, in mind. Then they can choose the uh, correct um, program mm -hmm. before they submit their application. Mm -hmm. Okay, so and the next question is more about life in Zhuhai. So how is uh, life in Zhuhai and what's like the average uh, living cost that students need to live in Zhuhai? Um, it's really based on how much yeah. uh, cost for the students here, but uh, the price uh, or the uh, average cost won't be very high to compare with the life in Hong Kong or Macau. Mm -hmm. The student may um, 100 uh, MB per day for the, their meals should be okay. Yeah, and also not really expensive of the dormitory here. You can, as you can see, yeah, only six uh, around six thousand per year for for a student sharing a bed uh, with another one. So I think it's okay. And if the students are uh, really good and excellent performance. Uh, in academic, then they can get the full scholarship. I think it's already covered most of the expense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, I think that. Uh, and I also want to mention that um, mm -hmm. we won't charge any um, fee. Um, I mean, a application fee at the moment. So student, just feel free to submit your documents. We won't charge any fee before you uh, enrolled by UIC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great to know. And the dormitory is indeed very cheap. It's only 6,400 uh, RMB per year. And it's very cheap compared to if you study in bigger cities like Beijing or Shanghai, because that's very expensive over there. And also the transportation here is really convenient. Uh, you can just um, take the bus uh, across the bridge, then maybe just 30 minutes to Hong Kong and just cross the border to Macau. And there is a, a railway station near UIC, then um, maybe sh less than one hour, then you can um, get to Guangzhou or Shenzhen mm -hmm. by railway. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, it's a very convenient location too. Like you can easily travel to neighbor cities or- also look at in the greater Bay area. So yeah. We get more opportunity here. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So one uh final question here. Uh, I think some students they just want to double check if they can use the uh like a letter from the school to certify that they study in English. And if that's the case, then do they need do they still need to do IELTS or TOEFL? Uh, if the students, uh, the mother tongue is English and also get a certificate to 
uh, clarify that all courses are taught in English in high school, then we can waive the English certification. Um, but if the students cannot get the um, English qualification at the moment, mm -hmm. uh, we will invite our teacher to evaluate students' English level during the interview. Um, okay. Maybe students would get a conditional offer after the uh, interview um, and maybe fulfill the requirement of English level um, when uh, spend this uh, the first year or first semester in UIC should be okay because mm -hmm. I know some um, Russian student cannot get an IELTS test at the moment or Ukraine students yeah, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. it's okay uh, at the moment we will um, consider about students um, situation a little bit mm -hmm. okay so yeah thank you so much Jesse <laughs> Sorry, thank you for answering all the questions as well and for sharing information about the UIC.